Is it time to say goodbye to LastPass now that users on the free tier will no longer be able to use the software on their desktop and mobile devices? Today I'm going to explain how the announcement from LastPass will affect users on the free tier and look at a couple of alternatives that are suitable for both advanced and average users. Now, of course, everybody needs a password manager. You should, of course, be using strong and unique passwords on every website that you use. Now, I know a lot of you are using LastPass and there are a couple of different subscriptions that you can sign up to like premium and families, but many are using it on the free tier. Now, yesterday, LastPass announced that starting on March 16th, they would no longer allow users on the free tier to use the software on their desktop and their mobile. So those users will have to ultimately choose, am I gonna use LastPass on my desktop or do I only want to use it on mobile? Now, of course, we need access to our passwords on both desktop and mobile. So really it's putting users on the free tier in a difficult position. Either you're gonna to have to upgrade to premium or you're going to have to find an alternative product. Now to help ease the pain a little bit, LastPass are offering users on the free tier uh, a limited offer where you can upgrade to premium for $2.25 for the year if you pay in advance. Now that's a little bit of a discount because LastPass premium usually costs $3 a month, but this is a time limited offer just for the first year. After that, you will have to pay $3 like everybody else. So starting March the 16th, the first logon that you make to LastPass will determine where you're able to use the software. So for instance, if your first logon after that date is on the desktop, then LastPass will assume, okay, that's where you want to use LastPass. You're gonna have access on the desktop. If you make your first logon on your mobile device, then that's where you're going to use LastPass. Now, they're going to give you free chances. So don't worry if you make a mistake, you will be able to change your mind up to three times. LastPass also announced that starting March 17th, free users will no longer have access to email support. So if you need support as a free user, you will either have to head over to the LastPass forums or you can use the online support center. So what about the alternatives? Now I have two recommendations for you if you don't want to pay for a LastPass premium subscription. If you're a more advanced user and you would like to retain most of the bells and whistles that come with LastPass, then I would recommend looking at a free and open source solution called Bitwarden. Now this has most of the features that you get in LastPass free. So you have access to a desktop application, you can access Bitwarden in a browser or using a mobile app for Android or iOS. It's very similar to LastPass in the way that it works and in the UI. So if you're familiar with LastPass, then you shouldn't have any problem using Bitwarden. It looks very similar and it's easy to export your passwords from LastPass and then just upload them into Bitwarden. It comes with backup, export, offline access, and you can protect your vault with two-factor authentication as you would expect for such a product. There is one major usability issue though that I would like to call out and it probably is a bit of a showstopper as far as I'm concerned at least. The application for Android doesn't integrate with the biometric features of the operating system. So when you want to unlock your vault, you're not able to do that using facial recognition or your fingerprint. Every time you need to type in your master password. Now, for me, that's a little bit of a problem because of course my master password is long, it's strong, it's complicated as it very well should be. And I don't want to have to type that in every single time I open the vault. With the LastPass app on Android, I could just unlock my master vault using my fingerprint. Easy, quick, no fumbling around with a long password that I can barely remember. Um, and it was easy to use, but unfortunately the Bitwarden application for Android at least doesn't have that feature. And that's a fairly major down point, I would say. Now, the other alternative that I have for you is Microsoft Authenticator. Now, of course, this is an Authenticator app like the Google Authenticator app, but Microsoft recently added a password management feature. 
Now, it's relatively simple, but it's surprisingly effective. It might not come with all the bells and whistles of Bitwarden and LastPass, but it might just be enough for your needs and for my needs at the end of the day. So this is an application that you can download for Android and iOS. Unlike Bitwarden, it integrates with the biometric features of the operating system. On the computer end, you don't download an application, but everything is integrated into Microsoft's Edge browser. So you don't need an application on the desktop side. If you're not using Edge, you don't need to worry. There is an extension that you could download for Chrome to make all of this work with Google's browser. Now, one of the things that it doesn't have that you do get in LastPass and Bitwarden is the ability to back up your vault and see the password history for each entry. Now, that does worry me a little a bit, especially the password history. But the application is so well designed that it's quite difficult to accidentally change a password and save it in the vault. So you don't really need to worry about do you have access to your password history. But nevertheless, I hope that's a feature that Microsoft decides to add in the future. You can export your passwords via the web browser. And while there's no backup option, providing that you do it securely, you could, of course, back up and export. So there is a kind of a workaround for the fact that it doesn't have a backup if that's important to you. Of course, Microsoft makes sure that your vault is always available in the cloud. So in principle, while a backup might be useful, it's maybe not an absolutely crucial feature for all users. So of course, because it's a authenticator app in itself, it supports protecting your vault with a two-step login process. And while there are no advanced features, it's really well designed. And I think this may be the best solution going forwards for most users. So those are the two options that you have that I would recommend looking at. Bitwarden for advanced users if you want all the bells and whistles that came with LastPass and Microsoft Authenticator for everyone else. It's a real shame that LastPass have made this announcement and made it more restrictive for users on the free tier. But, you know, these things change and there are good alternatives out there. So do take a look at those. Password managers are really important. You know, at the end of the day, we want to be in a world where nobody is using passwords, that we're using maybe security keys or some other means of authentication or passwordless authentication. But, you know, passwords, unfortunately, aren't going to go away anytime soon. So we all need a password manager. And of course, you could also think about paying for a premium license for LastPass. OK, that's it from me. I'll see you next time.